Hello everyone, this is David Biodel 23 and welcome to the Mandragon's Cave. Today we are going to be talking about Smoker from One Piece. This is one of my favorite characters in the series since the very beginning. Uh, at the moment we have this uh, duality, duality in him and uh, I think he is kind of the new Aokiji. Uh, we all know that he's been very connected to Luffy since the beginning of the story. Uh, he wants to catch him as soon as he appears in the story. He wants to capture him and uh, because he is against the pirates. He's a white hunter and he's really strongly hunting everyone who passes through who passes through um, through lockdown, all those pirates that are trying to, to go and find the One Piece and trying to go and, 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 and be in the Grand Line. So, a Smoker has been shown a couple of times uh, helping Luffy or the means that he had to do and, and the things that he wants to, to, to raise against the government and everything. They show him as a good marine. Uh, lately, he's been having this. Uh, he's been having this. Uh, this attitude of of wanting to rebel, wanting to to explain what's going on to the world. He's a, a misunderstood character at the moment. He's like a black sheep. He kind of uh, admires, I think, Fujitora. Uh, for some of the comments that he's been doing lately about, you know, the eradication of the Shichibukai, etc. Since he saw, since the Smoker saw uh, the truth of the war government when they kind of promoted him against his will, giving him the the reward of having defeated and, and, uh, and captured Crocodile in Arabasta Saga, that, that was a lie. That was a lie fabricated by, by the government, so everyone would think a smoker was the 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 star the star of the of the of the event. He took it really bad he took it really bad and all of these let's do the next one second here all of this i think has been has been the explosion the detonant for him to to kind of find the, the real truth and, and his own justice. Uh, I think there's a lot of uh, tickets in, in, in him to become the next fleet admiral for a new reformed marines. But at the same time, I think he's like an old dog, like Aogiji, and he's not gonna want to kind of continue in the organization, even if it is clean. And what we will see is, uh, I think what we will see is a smoker that will do his job and will help the world to be a better place. But uh, at the end of the story, he will be gone, I think. Not dead, not dead. I think he's one of those characters that he's going to end up heavily wounded, but not dead, to be honest. Let's do something like this, yeah. At the moment we are in Egghead and we have a lot of people from the Marines, uh, even Tashigi is there, uh, trying to kind of yeah, go with Saturn and attack whatever is going on, whatever is going to happen with, with these guys in, in Egghead. It is really funny and really curious to see Tashigi but not a smoker, so I think they are always tightly connected and whenever one is showing up, the other one will show up too. I don't think a smoker is in those ships. Uh, I think a smoker is gonna be the ass in, uh, is gonna be the, the trump card in this whole saga. It's gonna be the moment when he turns against the marines, against the bad marines in this case, Gorusei. And uh, I think 
If you watch my previous videos, I'm talking about uh, invasion from the Blackbeard Pirates at the end and kidnapping of Saturn, etc, etc. And Luffy is gonna be in a pickle here and he is gonna need to escape because my guess is Blackbeard and probably the massive attack of the Marines and everything. I think he's gonna need uh, help to be able to escape from there because as we see now he's out of commission and I think he's gonna be like that for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the uh, saga to be honest so I think what's gonna happen here is uh, we need Smoker is one of the most important characters since the very beginning he's the marine by excellence like Kobe he's the future of the marines and I think he's gonna show up at the, the very end of the story and he's gonna be the shield in this case the smoke bomb protecting uh, Luffy's group from escaping uh, obviously I think Kuma is heading here and Kuma will do his thing Kuma will fight, Blackbeard will appear as well Blackbeard will do mischief please check out my previous videos about uh, uh, Blackbeard and Vista and and all these characters because all the theories I'm doing recently are quite connected of the and the storyline at the moment. So basically, I think everything will happen and then Luffy and the group they are gonna be in a really really bad situation and they are gonna need something to happen for them to be able to escape after Kuma has done his bid. I think this is when. Smoker comes in uh, in play here and he shows up. I think he's gonna show up and we are gonna see his awakening. All this saga since Wano we've been talking about awakenings and one that I'm expecting to see and I want to see really bad is Smoker's awakening. Since the very beginning uh, I'm saying that he's a very loved character, it's it's uh, always very good in position in all the polls and everything and uh, when One Piece polls they do for the for the magazine. Let's do like this, the cigars here. So I'm thinking about uh, him appearing by surprise, appearing by surprise here uh, defying, defying the Gorusei, defying the Marines, making them understand that what, what they are doing is not correct, and uh, having his own people like Tashigi and some other friends, even maybe against him there, and uh, causing a, a, a situation that he's been looking for for a very long time. I see this awakening happening as a massive curtain of smoke like when things are blur, when you have a problem that things are unclear in this case a smoker uh, has his thoughts mixed that's why he says to to Tashigi at the end of the Rosa you do as you consider and I will carry on all the consequences that, uh, that this is gonna this is gonna take. So he doesn't care anymore about what's happening. He just wants to find the truth and for this he's gonna have to reveal. He's gonna have to reveal. We're making him you all you know you all know that I always take a little bit of license. I try to do a little bit of my style here and I want to have a loose character in this one in this case for the for the smoke and everything. I really like the fruit and the power. The concept of a smoker, let's do this, his characteristic newest card that he has. The concept of a smoker is really confusing at the moment. We are waiting for information. Uh, he would be 100% dead if it weren't for Aogiji. As I, say, as I explained in my previous video, he is with, uh, he's with the whole saga in Punk Hazard and at the end the Flamingo shows up and he's gonna die 
we see we see a smoker is gonna die there he lost he lost against law first then he loses against do flamingo and when do flamingo is gonna execute him as i explained in my previous video then we see we see Aokichi showing up and saving him. That's telling me, okay, this character has many things to do with Luffy and the main story, but it is not ready at the moment. He's been saying the whole time that he needs more, he needs more uh, level at his level at the moment that he's actually a vice admiral, vice admiral. He actually can't do anything. So I think he's waiting to level up a little bit and go more uh, Almirant or at the end he will do on his own like like Aokichi is doing now. I think he's the new Aokichi as I've been saying before because he's not gonna be following rules. I think he's waiting to do the things correct but I think he's not gonna be following rules at the end. He's gonna be helping Luffy because Luffy's goal is gonna be the, the one that fits most the most the, the, the true and the, they wanting to help people and uh, to be honest uh, it is going to be a difficult situation for for a smoker in this case uh, i see him first of all what i'm what i'm saying i see him first showing up so called here showing up in a cat helping luffy and the group to escape and saying to Tashigi, uh, kind of arguing in the distance with Tashigi, like, why are you doing this? Why are you helping the pirates? Why are you helping the enemies? And kind of opening her eyes, saying, uh, so, this is the, this kind of making you think sentences that he's saying lately, like he, he's brewing something. He's been, he's been having this issue. He's been seeing the, 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 the government as, a, as an issue and the real problem and I think he's gonna have a speech at the end of Egghead because he's been tightly connected with the Punk Hazard saga and now we have Tashigi here. So I think he will say his opinion, he will reveal, uh, maybe he can even openly say that he's short, but I don't think I want to say that his connection will be exclusively short, if, if you know what I mean. I think it's more a matter of, of, of following Aokiji's path and being an individual, being a Ronin that is moving around a scenario uh, to, for real, for real to help people. Uh, I think this is aligned with Garp, like Garp is doing whatever he wants. So I think he wants to be to that point. He wants to reach the point of having to do something so important for the Marines, so good for the Marines, that actually no one is gonna be able to to take him in, 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 in like say, okay, this is a problem what you're doing. So he wants, he's like, for me, the new garb. We will have this, uh, we will have this moment when he needs to choose Luffy's side again uh, and openly be against the Marines. And I think that moment is now in, uh, in Punk Hazard. He's conscious that Aokichi has been... Uh, he saved him. If it wouldn't be for Aokichi, he would be dead. And probably he's been digging. He said, oh, he said to, uh, he said to Tashigi, I'm gonna have to go and investigate. So he's kind of trying to find something he's talking to people he's been he's been talking to people and i think even after all the things that happen in in pun hazard i think he has visited aokiji again and they had a conversation again there let's do this arm piece for the jacket really nice really nice outfit there making him now. This is one of those characters, those are the, one of those few characters that I think I liked more the design now that uh, that for the pre-time escape to be honest. This is really, really nice design. So, Smoker is one of our guys 
that is going to be at the end of the story. And at the same time, it's a dual character. So, we all know that Kobe wants to be Almirant. Almirant is what Kisaru is now, what Aokiji was. But if you do the comparative with Luffy and, and his his new dreaming attitude and the power that he has, I think he's going to end up in, in Akainu's position, in Sengoku's position, and he can even be the, 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 yeah, the new fleet admiral. That will be uh, surpassing his own expectations, and, and it will be a good example for a character to, to grow. can be a very beautiful thing for, for, for Kobe. So I was always thinking that maybe that will be a smoker, smoker position but given all the things that are happening now uh, I completely think that a smoker is on his own and at the end of the story whenever it is that he he shows his card he is done with the marines he's done with the marines and he will do his own justice and how he helped pirates he helped Luffy uh, he's not going to be able to kind of come back clean, I would say, to, to the Marines. What I want to say as well is he's introducing lockdown and then he's heavily, he has a heavily presence in, in Arabasta Saga. And as we know, let's do the boots here, really nice boots. As we know, Crocodile is his prize uh, and is his new face towards the Marines and he's not happy about it. I think this is going to be redeemed and at the end of the story when we have all the players in position and Smoker uh, at the end of the story because he is definitely at the end of the story for the uh, in the search for the One Piece, let's say, he, he's going to be there as well with Boogie, Crocodile and everyone. This is gonna happen. That he's actually gonna, he's actually gonna capture a crocodile and a stop crocodile. Uh, it is really nice that he has this uh, this weapon that we will draw it now. We want to draw it here as well. The crossing at the back is here. He has this weapon. It's a type of weapon that the police used to use, I don't know if they still have it, but they used to have in, in uh, that is this line and it has this kind of uh, fork shape. The police used to use it uh, as their weapon to capture the, you know, the, the bad guys and everything. And uh, I think it is like this and it has a handle here and then we'll do, just for the reference, something like this we will do. It should, it should be good. So, this weapon was really important in in Arabasta, in Water, uh, in uh, in Lockdown. It manages to capture Luffy with the power of the smoke, with the power of this Kairoseki weapon. Is something new that we no no one is expecting. And then he has a motto that it works with the. Uh, with the with the smoke probably invented by Vegapunk as well, like we have Aces, uh, we have Aces uh, uh, boat as well, like like a, a surfing there. So I totally think a smoker is gonna end up capturing Crocodile and having this medal that he's waiting for to have uh, for real for himself, and it's gonna stop him and. This weapon is gonna play a really strong, a really strong paper there in capturing him. It can be really interesting, and we don't have any goal clear with uh, with Smoker. That what is he gonna do at the end of the story? What is his goal? He wants to. I see. It is really a strong Joe, strong feature of the character so i think as well like akainu i think he is the one that is gonna stop akainu from being more evil than he already is i think he is the one that is gonna say yeah akainu i'm challenging you here this is not what we should be doing 
and I'm here to stop you. I think his goal in the story is first to stop Crocodile and the ancient weapons because he's in Arabasta and all the ancient weapons and I think it's from Arabasta start, the, everything starts there and uh, this the next goal is what Aokichi couldn't do in that case was to defeat Akainu and stop Akainu it can be really interesting with having Logia powers Aokichi I, Aokichi yes but having Logia powers Smoker, Akainu and uh, Crocodile and him being the person with this uh, weapon, Karoseki weapon, to, to stop all of them. Uh, kind of stop the bad marines and the marines that they are giving a bad reputation, yeah, to bad reputation to to the marines. And I think it is gonna be really important that they that all are reveals soon what is going on with the smoker and what is his uh, his aim so he wa he went to find something we want to know what's that something that he found and most probably is the truth he's been speaking with some of the old characters maybe some connections with garp some connections with uh, with um, sengoku with uh, suru as well and we will have this kind of uh, we will have this kind of revelation from his side and he's going to be able to first to help luffy and first to and second to help the the end of the story the end of the story let's do this kind of things that he has like moto he's kind of a motorist guy i want to do the trousers as well in a second we're gonna add a little bit of brown, darker brown, to do the cigars. And these ones too. As well, they always show him smoking. They always show him as well uh, crocodile smoking cigars. And both are from almost the same time, the same saga. And I think we are gonna have this rivalry with the smokes and maybe he's gonna be able to control his smoke from the crocodile cigar and, and do something with that uh, awakening is coming awakening is coming and we're gonna have these blackbeard characters escaping with saturn the marines attacking some other marines showing up everyone is fighting everyone is pushing and then uh, him coming and stopping the marines stopping the marines creating this wall with awakening a massive wall of smoke so luffy and the group they can escape with the ship <coughs> this is looking really nice at the moment i want to focus a little bit in doing let's do the lock pose this triple head lock pose but we are gonna go for 0 0.4 as we always do to do the, the dark color that the, the trousers in this case uh, feel free to comment here what's your opinion about the smoker uh, I think Oda is waiting for a specific time to bring him back and that's at the end of Egghead I think uh, Egghead is a lore saga and it's about information about devil fruits, about world government, about the past, about uh, flashbacks as, as we are seeing and I think it's going to be really important to mix uh, to put a, a smoker in the mix let's do this side as well <coughs> Tashigi is a younger version of a smoker and as we've seen her now she's kind of complying with whatever is being ordered with uh, with uh, with Saturn, but Saturn is bad. We've seen him that he's bad. And Tashigi, we know she's good, and she's adopting like a smoke and everything. So I think it's a good moment for a turn of events and a shift in the Marines. Uh, we have as well some doubts from 
I think Doberman is the one that is with Saturn and when he says these are as, as insects, the humans are insects and if we if you kill some they will they will come out again this this and that and he's scared he's worried he's he's kind of thinking this guy is gonna kill me anytime as well and I think they need to see someone rebelling against Saturn smoker so so these things to happen to be able to fit in my previous theory about Blackbeard this will need to happen maybe he shows up first he stops the marines, he makes Luffy escape, and when Luffy is already escaped, and we don't know what's going on with uh, with him, and then you have this, uh, this arrival of Blackbeard, when Smoker is gone as well and everything, and they capture Saturn and, uh, and uh, Kitharu and etc. Uh, I think Smoker is not gonna die, he's not gonna protect them and use his life for it, I think it's just a step and a revelation. Let's see. These pens are working really nice. I've been using them for these videos and probably I will buy more. This Uniball pen. <coughs> at the moment, at the moment, I'm waiting. I'm craving to see a Smoker. They've been revealing a lot of info from the pre-time skip now with Saul, with fruits, with weapons, and how does he have the, this moto powered by, by, by his power? He's not an engineer. This is Vegapon's construction. I think he was in charge in Punk Hazard to take the kids, to give the kids to Tashigi and say, Tashigi, go to Vegapunk. Okay, go to Vegapunk and uh, heal the kids. So, he's gonna be in our side, that's clear, but I think it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen sooner than we expect. Let's do, this is looking really nice. He done some changes to the face, more kind of small warriors, small soldiers movie, uh, the main character that I really love, that, that guy. And I made him a little bit more here, still eyes on the bottom as well. I always liked, like I'll say in my videos, this kind of pointy type of shoe more. And then I want to do a little bit the the inside of the of the cape, but I'm gonna do it with normal pencil. Sometimes I, 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 I draw with pencils and I try to do some of the coloring and, and shadow with this with these pencils because I, I don't know, I like it more. It feels more natural for me. So let's do this side. Yeah. Smoker needs to have this kind of uh, kind of reward, you know, he's been punished the whole time, he's been lost the whole time, he's been investigating everything the whole time. He needs he needs to find his purpose and to help uh, the people who is in need. And in this case, here is Luffy and the group and is Vegapunk. Vegapunk is the justice, the good the good guy is Vegapunk. He's not doing anything but so uh, this is the guy who is introduced to us at the beginning of the story looking at Roger with awe and being like amazed by, by this man's power and I don't know how he didn't become a, a, a pirate maybe the justice maybe something happened to his family maybe something I don't know but he's the man who respects he's a man who respects the, 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 the justice and the, and the goodness on the world as I was saying, he was introduced uh, with uh, with a little kid, and his pants. He said, "Oh, sorry, because my pants ate your ice cream," and he gave the kid a couple of coins, so the kid can have uh, another ice cream. So he is a good guy, like Kobe, a good marine, like we've seen uh, Aokiji 
uh, con he said he's a Gigi's friend as well, so I expect him to do great things and uh, soon. Let's start a little bit. I know the cape is is white, this kind of marine capes, but I love if I add a little bit of grey and a little bit of dark here, the look, and it gives a little bit of volume to the character. Like this. It doesn't need to be perfect. We are doing traditional. It, it can be as imperfect as needed. Because I want to put a little bit of me as well in the in the drawing in the character, not just copy the image. Okay, and then the how this is Kairoseki. We will paint it grayish. I see him fighting against Crocodile and capturing him, frustrating his plans. That would be so cool. And then I see him facing uh, Akainu and arguing with Akainu, having a really heated argument. And uh, Fujitora is close and Fujitora is admiring him, like like he's surpassing... Uh, he's surpassing Fujitora's ambition of, of putting order, so he's more ambitious, he wants to do the things better, better than Fujitora, and I think Fujitora will help him soon at some point as well. And, uh, yeah, let's see, it's looking really nice at the moment. So this one is getting, I think we're almost done, and it was faster than I expected to be. We are missing just this bit here. We will add some of the details for this part as well. And with a little bit of jello, we need to sharpen a little bit. Feel free to comment your opinions about the smoker. What do you think he's going to be doing at the end of the story? Uh, how is he going to be Reveling, and uh, and what is this thing that he is he's pursuing, this this secret, this secret uh, mission or quest that he is his own. I think as well he has a. This is a shonen, and we're gonna have we're not gonna have love and things like that. But I think he's like G, uh, Hina's uh, boyfriend or something. I think uh, all of these things are gonna kind of be important for the end of the story because he has some good friends and, and good connections there like the Shigi, Hina, Garp, Aokiji, uh, Suru and all of these people that I think they are good guys, good marines, they are gonna end up helping him. Uh, let's see... I think we are kind of done here. Yeah, looking really nice. Let's just use a little bit of this to make this part pop a little bit. Smoker, the white hunter, stopping crocodile, that is the smoker of One Piece by excellence. Let's do a little bit like this. And now I'm gonna try to do this. Aye, looking good. So we make it a little bit more clear. And the smoke as well. Like this. This, uh, this if I use this technique a little bit that I paint around instead of inside, it can give a little bit of of volume, like comic, it is really interesting. But yeah, uh, feel free to talk in the comments about the smoker. Tell me what you think about him. What he's gonna be doing? Uh, how is the Shiki gonna react? If you think we have a awakening coming soon and and a smoker kind of going against the Marines and uh, and all these things. Uh, I think he's gonna be following Aokiji's path, he's gonna be following Fujitora's path, but he needs to go up a little bit more on the chain. 
and this may happen now uh, after this saga and he needs to be revealed uh, to be against Akainu and he's gonna have encounters with Akainu I think with, with the type of fruits that they have it's giving me as well that they maybe even have a little bit of a fight or something like a smoke against lava and uh, and uh, and yeah it's a very strong character potent character in the in the in the design in the image and he's been he's been sleeping lately since uh, since we're in the new world and he's been shown weak against Trafalgar Law and these things need to change they need to show him in a, in a level that is like Usopp or is like Luffy that, that they grow exponentially in a, in a massive way in a very short amount of time and I think this is the perfect saga for that uh, having Saturn, having Marines doubting having these kind of difficult times for the for the for the Marines that when they are being killed with even by Saturn and Tashigi being in the in the wrong side there and having to stop whatever she's doing and jump into the ship uh, to to help a smoker to be honest and some of the sword guys as well maybe I see Dole siding with him because the style is really similar and, and with Hina with him with Tashigi with the sword and uh, yeah that can be very very interesting to be honest I'm just gonna add a little bit of grass here at the bottom and a little bit of this I don't think he's short because Aokiji I think is short and, and Lo is short so I think he's before he's kind of realizing of all of these things now and he's gonna say oh short exists oh these are rebelling, oh Fujitori is rebelling, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, I need answers. This is what he's doing at the moment. And the the, the answer is gonna be at the end of Egghead, with him saving saving the marines that are being killed by Saturn, saving Luffy and letting him escape with a smoke uh, with a smoke uh, screen and uh, yeah kind of not being the hero of the marines but being the, the the white justice the good justice of the marines i think we we, we are going to be seeing that very soon just a little bit of grayish here like this i like it like this and yeah we are done with this one okay So thank you very much for watching, uh, hope you like it, feel free to comment or share or, or, or check out my other videos as well to see more theories about about One Piece. I'm, I'm doing quite a lot lately because I'm quite uh, excited with this whole YouTube thing. And uh, yeah, open conversation, open conversation in the chat uh, below and, and, and let's talk about, about ideas. So this, this is the bit. Biadel 23, David Biadel 23, you can say it as you want. And uh, this is the Mandragon's Cave. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.